Hello friends, welcome to the video series on interview question for SQL PL SQL developers. This video is a continuation of previous video. In the previous video, we have seen about what is the maximum number of trigger of different type that can be defined on the same table and what is the order of execution if there is more than one trigger defined on the same table. As a continuation of that, in this video we will see is it possible to create more than one trigger of same type on same table. If yes, then what is the order of execution. Just to give you a quick recap of what we have actually seen in the last video is we have seen the different types of trigger. So basically the DML triggers are classified into two types like row level trigger and statement level trigger. Further these triggers are classified based on the DML operation insert update delete. So we have like six types of trigger. Further these uh, triggers are classified based on the timing of the event. So we have like before all these DML operation for row level as well as under statement level. So we actually have 12 different types of trigger and it is possible to create all these 12 different types of trigger on the same table. In fact, this is what we have seen in the last video. And then after creating all these 12 different types of trigger, we saw another example to see what is the order in which these triggers gets fired whenever a DML operation is performed. For example, if you are doing an insert statement, then we have actually four insert related trigger, two for in a row level trigger and two for statement level insert trigger. All these four insert related triggers will get fired whenever we do an insert operation. The order in which these triggers will get fired is the first it will start with before statement level trigger followed by before row level trigger. Then the actual insert operation will happen followed by the after row level trigger and finally the after statement level trigger. So this is the order in which these triggers will get fired. In fact, this is the example we have seen in the last video as a continuation. Now let us see. Is it possible to create more than one trigger of same type on same table? Let us take one particular category of trigger. For example, let us take before insert row level trigger. Is it possible to create before insert row level trigger? That is more than one before insert row level trigger. Yes, it is possible. So now what I'm going to show you is I'm going to create three before row level insert trigger on the same table then we will understand what is the order in which these triggers get fired. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a table called student and I'm creating a sequence called log sequence. Basically, I'm creating the sequence so that I'll, I can able to print the uh, sequence number from the body of trigger so that it is easy for us to understand the order in which these triggers get fired. The first trigger I'm going to create is the name of the trigger is like row level before insert A. Okay, so you can say this, this is a before insert trigger and this is a row level trigger. So within the body of trigger, we are just printing the name of the trigger and the uh, sequence number so that it is easy for us to understand at the time of execution, what is the order in which these triggers gets fired. So this is our first trigger. So I'm going to create one more trigger exactly the same and the name is like row level before insert B. I'm going to create one more trigger called row level in before insert C. Okay, from the body of all these triggers, we are just printing the sequence number so that it is easy to understand the order in which these three triggers get fired. Fine. Now let us create all these table sequence and trigger and then let us see what is the order in which these three triggers get fired. Okay, I'm creating the table student. I'm creating the sequence log sequence okay so the first trigger I'm going to create is row level before insert A similarly I'm creating another trigger called row level before insert B the third trigger is row level before insert C so we have actually created three triggers let us just query from the user trigger data dictionary table just to see whether all these three triggers are created properly yes now we have three triggers called A, B and C that is created on top of student table. Fine. Now what we are going to do, we are just going to do an insert statement so that we will be able to understand the order in which the triggers are actually fired. Let me just fire the insert statement. Now you can see the order in which the triggers are actually fired is C, B and A. Even though we have created the uh, triggers in the order of A, B and C, the order in which the actually the triggers are fired is C, B and A. So this is the key learning here. There is no guarantee that Oracle will fire in the same order of trigger creation. Okay, Oracle will take a random order and execute 
all the triggers whenever we are defining on the same level for example same type of trigger on the same table there is no guarantee that oracle will execute or fire in the same order of creation but if there is a compelling reason for a developer to trigger a then b then c is it possible yes it is possible from oracle 11g onwards oracle has introduced a keyword called follows by specifying the follows keyword we can instruct oracle to execute a trigger after a particular trigger for example if i want to execute the trigger b after the execution of a then i have to explicitly mention the keyword follows the a trigger so here is the syntax so you explicitly say b trigger should follows a trigger so what will happen is after the completion of a the b trigger will start executing similarly if you want to instruct oracle to fire c after b you can explicitly mention saying that c should follow b then what will happen is c will follow the b you cannot say that uh, trigger should follow itself that is not possible okay now let us recreate the trigger by including this follows keyword then we'll see what is the order in which these three triggers get fired so now what i'm going to do i'm just going to recreate the same trigger by specifying the follows keyword anyway uh, trigger a is going to be the first trigger so there is uh, it is the root trigger so there is no need to explicitly specify the follow keyword for trigger b i'm specifying it should follow trigger a okay so let me just create the trigger b trigger b is compiled similarly trigger c i am creating explicitly specifying it should follow trigger b okay so i am compiling trigger c trigger c also compiled so now let me execute one insert statement now let us see what is the order in which the triggers gets fired now if you see the order in which the triggers are fired is a b and c so the key learning here is the follows keyword you can just explicitly specify the order in which you want to execute the trigger by specifying this follow follows keyword oracle will execute the order in which we are instructing to the compiler so in this case it is executing a b and c i'm just giving you the screenshot of both the execution in our first execution the default order or the random order in which oracle is executing is c b and a then we are explicitly mentioning the order in which we want the triggers to be executed so in this case it is executing the order a b and c if you want any questions to be answered please post it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail id but before that you can just browse through all the questions that is posted as part of the subscriber question and as part of uh, interview questions because most of the questions are already posted here probably you may find your question here in case if you are not able to find please write back to me i'll be happy to record and post as a separate video if you have learned something new please like this video subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video interview question sql practical question and concept videos and thanks a lot for watching this video please click the bell icon if you want to receive instant notification whenever a new videos are uploaded into this channel thank you